Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Age channel. Francis Nagano will box for only the second time soon and has outlined it now why he plans to return to MMA afterwards. Nagano made where we'll go down in history as one of the most impressive ever boxing debuts when he took on Tyson Fury in Rizia in October last year. Not only did he jump right in the deep and with the WBC and lineal heavyweight champion of the world, but he also knocked him down and kept him at a relatively safe distance over the 10 rounds, only just losing on a narrow points decision. On March 8, he takes a former two-time world champion Antonin Joshua in his second contest. Joshua will be hoping to use the fight to lay down a marker against Fury and show he can put on a better performance, while Nagano has already walked to test his chin. Ahead of the fight, the French Cameroonian former UFC heavyweight champion has been speaking to ASPN about his plans afterward and spoke about an upcoming PVL matchup this weekend. There is the main event Ryan Bader vs Renan Ferreira, which I'm interested in cause I think the winner of that is going to be the guy I will be with on my MMA return. It is my intention to return to the sport, when actually I don't know, everything depends on March 8th, he said. He was then asked why those would be the right opponents and he answered, both are champions and then they are going to be champ champ. So I think there isn't a better way to find an opening for me since I am a champion myself. Finally, he was asked why he would leave boxing. I never thought I had finished my MMA career. I just wanted to chase my dream in boxing and when I can, I will combine both. I want to dominate in boxing as well, Nagano added. Anthony Joshua vs Francis Nagano, sparring partner predicts how fight will be won. Anthony Joshua's sparring partner Jimmy Takeaway believed that the heavyweight will beat Francis Ngannou by knockout. Joshua takes on Ngannou in Saudi Arabia on March 8, live on the zone, and the two fighters appear relatively evenly matched despite Ngannou's lack of experience. I personally think that AJ knocks him out. He said, he is fast, he is got good movement, he moves his feet very well and now he has been working on certain things where every time he moves, you've got to be on point. He's fast, he's sharp, he's strong, he's a very dangerous fighter overall. I feel like Nagano, from the way I've been seeing him talk, he gave more respect to Tyson Fury than he is giving to AJ. When AJ was winning, everyone loved him. You weren't talking about this or that when he was winning. He is achieved so much. Fight everyone. How can you hate on a guy like that? TK we said. The much anticipated Anthony Joshua vs. Francis Ngannou fight is right around the corner. With just days left for it to down, someone who knows how will the fighters function in the ring has taken his pick for who could dominate on the fight. On March 8, the day before AJ was previously supposed to fight his long-time foray, Deontay Wilder. A clash will ensue at the coveted Kingdom Arena. The Londoner will fight no ways boxer and former UFC champion Francis Nakano as a part of the Kingdom's ongoing season. For both the fighters, this confrontation comes at a crucial time. For AJ Luthing, this could mean him not getting another chance to emerge world champion. For the Predator, on the other hand, his second stint in the pro boxing cannot be his second loss. So who will win? Share your thoughts with the comment below section. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.